In this video, you will learn how to create a new drawing file, modify the size of a drawing sheet, create drawing views, annotate a drawing, and export a drawing. I want to start by giving a quick overview of the process to create a drawing inside of Fusion 360. There are three methods to create a new drawing file inside of Fusion 360. For the first method, display the data panel and right-click on the desired component or assembly, and from the menu, click New Drawing from Design. For the next two methods, you can create a drawing from a file that is open inside of Fusion 360. For the second method, click on the Design drop-down arrow, and from the Drawing area, click From Design. For the third method, click on the File menu, then click New Drawing, and from the menu, click From Design. When creating a drawing inside of Fusion 360, you're going to follow these main steps. First, define the drawing sheet, then create your drawing views, add annotations, if desired, add a parts list and balloons, and if needed, export the drawing. In regards to a parts list, I want to discuss where this data comes from. The parts list data is derived from the file's property information. To edit this data, open up the desired file. In the browser, right-click either on the components or the assembly's name, and from the menu, click Properties. Now in the Properties dialog box, you can change the part number, the part name, and the description. Now inside of Fusion 360, let's go through the process of creating a drawing of the bracket assembly that I already have open. To start off with, I'm going to go under the Design dropdown, and I'm going to click on Drawing from Design. In the dialog box here, you can adjust the contents. In the rest of the dialog box, you have additional options. Here, I'm going to change the sheet size to A, 11 by 8 and a half, and go ahead and click OK. Now, in the new drawing file, I can adjust the orientation for the base view, the different styles. I can also change the scale by clicking on the three dots. Let's see what the drawing views look like with the scale set to 1 to 1. Now, I'll place the view by clicking in the drawing then click OK in the dialog box or press the Enter key. Next, what I want to do is change the sheet size. To do this, I'm going to go in the browser and expand Sheet Settings. I'm just going to click on Change Sheet Size. And in the dialog box, I'm going to select B. If you want to make changes to the title block, simply double click on the title block, and then double click on the desired text and enter in a value and Enter. To have the drawing fit the screen, just press the F6 key. Next, I want to project some drawing views. I'm going to go up under the Create menu and click on Projected View. And remember with Fusion 360, if you're unsure what to do, just pause your cursor for a second and you'll get a little tooltip. So here I'm going to just select Inside My Base Views as the parent. And then I'm going to drag my cursor out to the right to create the right side view and to the top. And I'll create an isometric view by clicking in the upper right hand corner. And when you're done, click on the green check mark. Next, I want to create a section view. So I'm going to start off by zooming in on my base view. And then from the Create menu, click on Section View. And again, I'm going to select in my base view. I want this section view to be centered on the part. So I can move my cursor over the center point. I'm not going to click. I'm just going to infer that point by moving my cursor over it. And then drag my cursor up, and then left click, move my cursor down to define the view, left click. When I'm done, I'm going to click on the green check mark and then place the section view to the right. In the Drawing View dialog box, you can make changes as required. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. After creating the section view, I no longer need the right side view, so I'm going to delete it. To delete the view, I'm going to select inside of it. And here, you can either press Delete on the keyboard or right click and click Delete from the menu. To move a drawing view, click inside of it. In the middle of the view, click and drag on the square. If you move a parent drawing view, its orthographic drawing views will move with it. To edit a view, you can either double click inside the view or click inside the view and then right click and click Edit View from the menu. In the Drawing View dialog box, make changes as required. Next, I want to see what the drawing will look like if I would change the scale. I'll click on the three dots and from the menu, set the scale to one half. As you can see, the drawing views are way too small, so I'm going to change that back to one to one. Then I'm going to close the dialog box. Next, I want to edit the isometric view. So I'll double click inside the view. And for this isometric view, I'm going to change the style to shaded and click close. Next, I want to add some annotation. I'm going to zoom up on the top left view. I'm going to start by adding a center line. I'm going to go under the geometry menu and click on center line. 
and I'm going to select two parallel lines. And I'm going to press the escape key to exit that command. To edit the center line, I'm going to select on the center line and click and drag on the arrows to extend it down and up. Next, I'm going to add center marks by going again to the geometry menu and click on center mark. Here, you can select on arcs or circles. Next, I want to add some dimensions. Under the dimensions menu, you can see that we have a number of different dimensioning tools that are available. The tool that I'm going to use here is just going to be the general dimension tool. Then I'm going to select two edges and locate the dimension, and I'll place in another dimension. So again, if you have experience with other CAD systems, you're going to see the process is exactly the same here inside of Fusion 360. Next, I'm going to apply a whole note. So I'm going to go under the text menu and click on note. Then I'm going to select on the whole and locate the whole note. And then click OK. You can add additional annotations as needed. Here we have our surface tools, our GD and T symbols, welding symbols. You can place in an image. Next, what I want to do is place in a parts list. So I'm going to click on the table tool. And again, I'm going to press the F6 key to zoom back. Now, as I'm placing in the parts list, notice the header of the parts list is currently at the top. As I move my cursor down, you'll notice that the header is now at the bottom. So it automatically adjusted, knowing exactly where I'm going to be placing this parts list. I'm going to just click right above the title block. As you can see, the parts list data was automatically populated. So where did this data come from? I'm going to go ahead and make my bracket assembly file active. And in the browser, I'm going to right click on my bracket component and click properties from the menu. And in the properties dialog box, you can see the information again for the part number, name, and the description have been filled in here. Now I'm going to make my drawing file active by clicking on its tab. And again, press the F6 key. Notice that the balloons were automatically placed when I created the parts list. I don't want them in this view, so I'm going to go ahead and delete them. Once the balloons are selected, I'm just going to press the delete key. Now I'm going to place the balloons in the isometric view. So I'm going to zoom up on that view and start the balloon tool from the tables menu. And then I'm going to select my first component and locate the balloon and continue this for my other three components. When locating this next balloon, I want it aligned vertically to balloon number four. To do this, I'm going to move my cursor over the center point of balloon number four, not left clicking, just hovering over that center point. And I'm going to drag my cursor down. You can see that I get a dashed line showing that the balloons will be aligned vertically. Next, I'll place my last balloon on one of the bolts. And again, align this one to balloon number one. If you need to align multiple balloons in one operation, go under the tables menu and click on align balloons. What I want to do next is save the file. In the dialog box, confirm the name of the file and the location where it's going to be saved, and then click save. If you need to export the drawing, go under the export menu. And here you can export the file as a PDF, a DWG file, a DXF file. With the CSV option, you can export a table or a parts list. And this completes this video on the introduction to the drawing process inside of Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.